The PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, has adopted his final written address, praying the presidential election petition tribunal to disqualify President Bola Tinobu and declare him the winner of the February 25 presidential election or cancel the election and order for a rerun presidential election. Replying the petitioner, which is Atiku on the point of law, the second respondent, Tinubu, in his final written address, told the court that Atiku failed to discharge the burden of proof required by law on the issue of non-compliance with the provisions of the Electoral Act to warrant the disqualification of Tinubu. Tinubu, through its legal team, also argued that the Constitution sees the Federal Capital Territory as the 37th state when it comes to election adding that a superior court of record has once ruled that not scoring 25% votes in the FCT cannot nullify a presidential election. Tinebu therefore urged the tribunal to dismiss Atiku's petition for lacking in merits. The lawyer representing Atiku, Chris Uche, SAN, has this to say. As you can see today, we all adopted our final written addresses, which are our final submissions in this case. Summarizing all the evidence we tendered before the court, you saw all the witnesses we called, all the exhibits we tendered. So today, we now summarized and adopted our submissions. So now, the matter has been adjourned for judgment. In other words, we have done our own bit, and as it is said, the ball is now in the court of the court. In a related development, the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi, while adopting his final written address, prayed to nullify the election victory of Bola Tinobu and order for a rerun on the grounds that the certified through copy of the election result tendered to the petitioner by INEC were all blood, blank and fake, which implies that INEC did not conduct a free and fair election. But Tinubu, through his legal team, told the tribunal in his final written address that Obi lacks the local standing as required by the constitution to seek a rerun election. Tinubu argued that the constitution requires only the first two leading contenders to take part in any rerun election, adding that Obi came third in the February 25 presidential election, therefore urged the election courts to dismiss Obi's petition. Obi's counsel, Livi Uzouku, SAN, spoke to newsmen. Some of you should be very much worried that election conducted by INEC, we presented 18,088 blood results from the IREC. Then INEC now gave us CTC of results. From there, we harvested 8,123 blood results some, are, some we are completely blank. Some others were pictures of human beings. Some others, buildings. Some others, you have results that are not pulling units, like world results, local governments, collection results, and so on and so forth. That is something that should worry every Nigerian. They relied on it. They relied to on pronounce it. somebody. They relied on it to declare somebody the winner of an election. How can, how can an institution, public institution like INEC, certified blank documents and said that it satisfied pulling unit results, certified photographs and said it certified pulling unit results? I mean, uh, I mean, they should, they should stop taking Nigerians and Nigeria for granted. It's very unfortunate that this type of thing should be happening in the 21st century. Other countries have moved on. We are still running round and round and round and round. 
and around trying to organize election. Yet, we are, we are behaving as if we are still in the, in the, in a, in a pre, pre, primitive uh, age. The five-man panel of justices for the reserve judgment on the two election cases against Tinubu, adding that a date will be communicated to the parties. The Nange Data Freedom Fighter Alaji Dogobo Asari was physically there at the venue of the election courts with his supporters to express their solidarity with Tinubu. <laughs> 